Hello boys and girls, how are you today? You okay? Even me, I'm fine. So today is uh, lesson three. We would like to learn something about Joseph. How many of you have heard of Joseph? You have? Okay. And you are going to learn about trusting God's plans. And before that, I would like us to bow our heads and have a word of prayer. Our dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for yet another day. Dear God, that you have given us the chance to live and the chance to learn about your plans, the beautiful plans you have for us in our lives. It's in the mighty name of Jesus we pray and we believe. Amen. And everybody say, Amen. So I believe that you have a pen, you have a paper, our notebook and your Bible so that you can write down a few things. So that after this, when you, you relax home, you can be able to look back and say that, yes, indeed, I learned something. So the story of Joseph, I know that you've heard about this story. When you read in Genesis from verse uh, 35 all the way, you will be able to understand about Joseph and the way uh, Jacob loved Joseph so much. Do you remember that story? Yes? I know that you can remember Jacob had how many sons? He had 12 sons, isn't it? And uh, the firstborn was named who? Mm -hmm. Reuben. Yes. Now, Jacob really loved his children, but he loved Joseph more than all the others. So the other brothers started becoming envious and they started planning and wondering what's wrong with our brother. Especially when he, he, he started uh, telling them about the dreams and interpretation of the dreams that he had. The brothers felt very jealous and wondered, really, what is wrong with our brother? Does he think that he's going to rule over us? Or does he think that he's superior over us compared to anyone else? So um, the, the, the dad, now Jacob, sent Joseph to go and look after the brothers, where they were, he sent him and he told him, okay, go and check out your brothers what, where they are and where they are grazing. So when the brothers looked and saw Joseph at a distance, they say that, ah, I think we must kill. We must kill this person because he's so loved and, 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 and he's so favored. He was even given a very nice robe full of uh, ornaments. And as we are not given, so they plotted. But now Reuben the firstborn said, no, 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 no. no. You guys, I, I, I think you need to, we, we, we just throw him on a cistern and we wait, okay? But you, he had planned that once uh, Joseph was thrown down there, he would return him back to, back to the dad. But uh, Judah came again and said, no, I think we should just sell him. We sell him to the Midianites, and then we get a few coins here and there. Then we'll, we'll take uh, the robe and, and slaughter a, a lamb and take it to, to our daddy and tell him that, ah, an animal devoured uh, uh, your son, and we are really sorry. And that is exactly what happened. Joseph was sold, and he went. And, and, and lucky enough, you, I know you know the entire story. Lucky enough, even when he went, uh, to, to Potiphar's place, the wife again started uh, going after him and when he remained with the robe, you know what happened? He was imprisoned. And while being imprisoned, there was a cup bearer and there was a chief baker. And you remember they had dreams. And when Joseph interpreted the dreams, indeed whatever happened is what came to reality. Okay? The cup bearer was restored but he did not remember Joseph, and Joseph really wondered. And later on, uh, the, 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 the chief baker was uh, beheaded, okay? And you can remember from this story, fast forward, about Pharaoh. When Pharaoh uh, had dreams as well, he sent wise men, he sent magicians to interpret the dreams. And while Joseph was in prison, uh, he, the, that's when now, the cupbearer remembered and said, there was once somebody in prison 
whom interpreted my dream and it came to be real. It came to pass. So immediately Pharaoh sent for Joseph to go and interpret the dream. And indeed Joseph interpreted the dream and the seven years that he was talking about of drought, the famine and of abundance, uh, Pharaoh actually made Joseph to be in charge of the entire plan. And as you can see, when the brothers came to realize that, oh, indeed this is our brother, they were really, 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 really afraid because they thought, oh my, he's going to revenge and he's going to kill us. But he was so gracious and he told them that all these things, they were planned before by God. And indeed, boys and girls, you can see from this story, I know when you have time, you'll just go through this uh, uh, story in entirety so that you can understand the plans of God for us. Sometimes he takes you through that fire and you blame him and you wonder, okay, how is my life? Why is it not working out? But indeed, you can see that Joseph was destined for greatness because he was the one who was in charge of taking care of everything that Pharaoh had. And indeed you can see that from this, even Jacob, later on, he revived his spirit. Why? Because he learned that his son had not died. Can you see these amazing things that God can do about us? So it is not always smooth, boys and girls. Sometimes you go up, sometimes you go down, sometimes you go through rough patches, sometimes you go through smooth patches. Because the God we serve, he is a faithful God. And you can see indeed from this story that his plans were not to harm Joseph in any way. Apart from him being thrown into the cistern, him being uh, sold as a slave, him being imprisoned again because of Potiphar's wife, and then finally because of the interpretation of dreams, this gift that he was given by our mighty God, he was restored again and he became a great man in the land. So boys and girls, I would like us to go through the memory verse for today, okay? Our memory verse comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 45, verse 7. Can you open Genesis chapter 45, verse 7? And what does it say? And it says, God sent me before you to rescue you in this amazing way and to make sure that you and your descendants survive. Now I know that you understand this memory verse in full scope, okay? Because you now understand that indeed God had a plan for Joseph from when he was young and he went through all the troubles in his life until he was the one who was used. So my prayer is that God may use you as well. Maybe not to take you through so much trouble, but to give you grace in abundance that even when you go through these troubles, you may be reminded through such stories of the Bible that indeed he is a gracious God, full of mercy and full of restoration and with wonderful plans for you and for I. So boys and girls, I would like you to apply these lessons in life and in your everyday living, when you're talking with your friends, with your brother, with your sisters, you may get to know and understand that God has a good purpose for us, okay? That you should rely on God fully to, di to direct you in your steps and in your everyday living, okay? That also God works out everything for your good. You can see indeed this story is not smooth flowing, but at the end God worked out everything for Joseph and his brothers and the wives and everyone else and his father indeed, because the father was really happy, okay? And you can see also, God will take care of you, just the same way he took care of Joseph, okay? So, boys and girls, I pray that you have taken a few notes. I pray that the Spirit of the Lord has spoken to you, that indeed you'll get to realize that God has a plan for you, the same way he has a plan for me, okay? So I pray that indeed you're blessed and I want you to remain beautiful boys and girls who always read the Bible, who always trust upon God.
for his plan is always good and never to harm us. And now I'd like us to say the words of the grace before we close. And now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen.